If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bofino One, bringing you guys another YouTube video. And today, I wanted to get out here and pretty much make a video. Um, I got a chance to read over this article that I saw on Twitter, and it's pretty much talking about how American savings rates have dropped the lowest since, you know, the 2008 um, inflation. So let's just kind of, you know, read to this. So they're talking about savings. They're talking about personal savings, so like savings, you know, in a savings, in your savings account, like people during the pandemic were, um, you know, they were saving at an all-time high because, you know, obviously we had stimulus money we had um you know people weren't going where everything was locked down so people were not in a sense able to to in a sense really save so the article says that you know the personal savings rate the share of disposable income dropped to 4.4 percent in april the lowest since 2008 according to data from the bureau of economy An analyst last friday the report also showed that inflation adjusted spending remaining strong despite elevated yet moderating price pressure so in a sense they're saying that you know spending has went up which kind of makes sense because if you think about it if inflation has went up that means that in a sense people have less money to put into their savings but they're spending more because the cost of living is going up so it kind of makes sense if you really like if you really think about it and so you know they're saying that the younger americans may be the most resilient of all gen z and millennials are more likely than their older counterparts to travel this summer according to a survey from various like commissioned by bloomberg news so i mean that also makes sense too because people like millennials like my group and younger gen z you know a lot of us either live at home or maybe you're still in school or whatever so you know you're in a sense not really feeling the inflation like your parents are who are paying the rent or they're paying the mortgage because you're living at home the biggest thing is like you might see um like you might feel it in gas prices because let's say you have a car or your parents bought your car whatever and you know you're paying for gas in that car to go to work whatever you're probably feeling it in that regards but if you're still living at home you're probably not really feeling inflation as you know older generations um you know as a lot of the older generations are a lot of uh charge card like credit cards you know it's it's costing more like people charge card limits have went up because a lot of people are left with pretty much no nothing after so they're having to use their charge card so that's why they were saying spending is going up like i said which makes sense because if you're someone that in a sense hasn't received a raise and you know cost of living is steady going up and you have no money left over well what are you going to resort to if you have nothing in your savings or now maybe you can't put anything in your savings nine times out of ten you're going to resort to using your charge card so it's kind of like this domino effect and that's what they were talking about in terms of like there's going to be a recession which i believe we're already either in a recession or we're on the brink of it because if they don't stop inflation and they're saying they're going to try to stop inflation by raising interest rates but i don't really know if that's necessarily going to help because if you raise interest rates it's the same thing so like for example like i was using the other day if car prices are high and interest rates are high then car notes are going to be high meaning that most people will not be able to afford to pay like a car note the days of people getting car notes for 200 maybe 300 dollars they put like 10 percent down are going to be over so what's going to happen is you're going to have this economical debt cycle so yeah i mean you have you're always going to have the people that are wealthy the people that you know maybe they have a really good paying job you have the people that um you know they've been saving this whole time they haven't really went out yeah they're going to go travel you know like they're just going to do it. And then you have the people that live at home. Yeah, they're going to travel too because they live at home. They're not paying really high expenses. They're not really feeling the price of gas. They're not feeling the price of food. You know, they're not they're not feeling certain things that probably their parents that are taking care of them are. So like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll chat with you later. Peace for Normie.